Hello everyone, it's Andrea, welcome back. Today I want to share with you my opinion on the current state of Day of Infamy. But before I start, I want to say that many games that come out in early access finish to be failures. One, because they never go on full release. And we have seen this with many survival games. Some games take a long development time with very slow updates and people just get bored and some games take the excuse of early access to never fix the bugs, never fix the problem with the games, and they never listen to the community because the moment you give a platform to the community and you don't listen to them, it becomes player lose trust on the devs. For Day of Infamy, I believe it's a early access game done right. First of all, we've seen frequent updates from the devs of Day of Infamy because we've seen bug fixes, new maps, new units, new voice acting. So, there's so much they're hunting and at the same time they're working on another game, so they're working very hard. And you can see that. And you can also see that they are listening to the community because they give out survey on a time that you can complete and give your suggestion to them. And I did it one time giving one suggestion to have the communication have always a radio not be optional so every time you pick communication you're forced to wear a radio so officer have an easier time calling artillery and uh, the next update i've seen the change so either they listen to my advice or many people did ask them for the same thing and the reason why in my opinion the infamy grew so much is the attention to the small details. We have artillery, but we don't have just artillery. We have smoke artillery, we have phosphorus artillery, we have uh, carpet bombing, strafing run, we have the supply drop, we have different type of artillery, we have uh, voice acting, but we have voice acting for each faction. Now they're making new units, so depending on the unit that you pick, you have uh, different voice acting. We have a radio, but this radio not only works for communication, talking to other people and calling artillery. If you shoot the radio, the radio blows up. You can see all the, uh, the fire around the radio. It will protect you from damage and also the radio won't work anymore. And you can also see how the maps are changing. You can see that there are thin walls that you can break in order to have alternative ways in order to reach the objective. You can see there are thin new cover. And for example, if you watch Boston, the original one that you can still play on the model insurgency and the one you can see right now in Day of Infamy it's a huge difference we have so many new buildings, new cover a totally different map the only issue I have with the maps is that sometimes the objective is not challenging and fun to take but it's tedious because it's too much on one side too much in favor on one side and sometimes also the restricted areas are not perfectly done. For example, in Salerno, when you're trying to take Charlie with the Americans, you can see that after you take the plaza, Bravo, on offensive and invasion, talking about the game modes, the defenders, which are mostly on the building in front of the plaza, will can stay there without getting any restricted areas. So basically you spawn with the Americans and you face enemies right away. And that instead of taking the fight to Charlie, you still fight in the place of Bravo. And in my opinion, some things like that can be improved and made better for a better experience. On the other hand, you see amazing maps like uh, Dog Red. You see the new Crete, which I believe is a community map which is amazing you start on the fields then get to an urban area then you get to a fortress surrounded by sand that map is truly amazing and we've seen also a new offensive mode in which uh, the devs added a regroup mechanic so when uh, a certain amount of players die in the defending team in order to make uh, your teammates respond in the defending team you need to go back to your base and I'm really conflicted about this mechanic because on one hand it makes a player in the defending team think and also add value to killing in the attacking team while rewarding the defending team if they use the regroup mechanic and they're very fast 
and respond near their team because they will have the reinforcements very fast. But on the other hand, there's always need, the need for one player to stop playing and go back to their base, which is something that I believe nobody really likes to do. So guys, that's it about my opinion on Day of Infamy and I believe that in one two months we will see the final release and we will also have new players coming to the game. So guys, thank you very much for watching, let me know what you think about the current state of Day of Infamy and I'll see you on the next video.